weigh-in, we have missed, I think we've missed two weeks of weigh-in, have we? No, just last week. Last week? Yeah. Feels like two weeks. It does feel like two weeks. Yeah. Well, it's my fault, obviously, because, you know, I'm the bad one. I'm the naughty one. Where did that come from? <laughs> it just happens to be I true. I just keep saying we should film way and we should film way in. Mm, but... but I just, I really didn't feel up to it. No. Um, I think, I think I'm having a fibro flare, actually. I think it's been triggered by the amount of driving that I've been doing because I hadn't driven for at least 18 months, I would say. And then... Suddenly I started driving again and I was trying to drive every day to keep my hand in really and then started getting really bad pain from it and I just kind of like my, um, how would you say, I think it just brought me completely, the pain brought me down in all sorts of ways really oh, and um I mean, consequently, I haven't done my CBT since then either. But I will be speaking to her next week. Yeah, don't let that go because you've been doing so well. Yeah, and I know I won't. I won't do. But I just, I don't know. It's just, it's almost like everything seems to sort of, you know, implode on itself. Like a domino effect. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, and um, you know, then I was kind of off plan I suppose. I'd have my birthday as well. And in Halloween. In Halloween. So there were opportunities there um, where I was eating too many sins. Not necessarily on a daily basis but um, I wasn't writing things down. The pain was getting me down as well. So it was just a culmination of things and um, That's hello, hello Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> All together Hello. now. Come she's on, come, come to on. be nosy. Come on. She's come to be nosy. She likes speaking. Ah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's it's my fault really, in that respect. And you know, I was thinking about it this morning and about what I would say. And I think I've just come to the conclusion, or, or I don't know, maybe I knew it anyway, but never verbalised it. Is the fact that actually, you know, be following a diet and trying to lose weight for me has always been a battle. It's not something that comes easily to me. It's something that I have to battle on a daily basis. Sometimes I have pockets where um, I'm doing really well and I feel um, enthused by that and... Um, it feels almost like nothing can go wrong at all. And when you're in that place, you feel like it's going to stay that way. And it actually, it doesn't. Um, and it is very, if you can hear a strange noise coming from that direction, it's cat plucking, <laughs> it's cat plucking on her post. She has a post there. And, um, it, it's like an it is like an addiction. Of course it is. It is like an addiction where say for instance, I don't I don't like likening things because they're different, but if I was an alcoholic and I was trying to give up alcohol, um and I went to AA meetings and I would try to give it up and I may go through stages where um I have really good, really good few weeks or months where um, I think, yeah, I'm doing really well. I don't want it. I don't need it. But something may happen then that would then cause me to go maybe back to that. And you'd have a relapse. Yeah. And it's, and to be honest with you, for me, in a way, Slimming World is no different. No. Would you... Yeah. Would you say it is it the same for you? I think you seem to be more blinkered and more determined. Whereas, I, I think, I think where things for me, like if I'm if I have, 
a fibro flat or I don't know a certain amount of stress in my life all those kind of like things could trigger it um it triggered me wanting to go off plan or just not want to go off plan but just that I happened to do that and yeah it's tricky I know it's tricky and you have your ups and downs with it and I think everybody has their ups and downs with it I mean look how I reacted when you know when stress hit me mm. back along I mm. just fainted on for food yeah because that's my re that's my comfort Reactive. my coping mechanism that's what I turn to yeah um to pick me up it doesn't pick me up in the long run of course it doesn't it, it drags me down it way picks down. you up <laughs> Well, almost like a drug then. Yeah. So it picks you up for a minute. Yeah. You know, for for a short time, but then you're on the downer. Yeah. After that. And I am, I am, I think more focused. I mean, Halloween, I didn't go near the bowl, the bowl mm. <laughs> that we have for the children. And um, on your birthday, I was trying to be mindful, but there were things that we couldn't sin, like some of the yo sushi. I know that the oh, what's that soup? Well, I mean, with the thing the thing is, we could have gone without. We could have said, well, look, we're on Slimming World. We're not going to do Yo Sushi. We're not going to. We're going to have just on, on um, plan meals. Hmm. But, I mean, the thing, we don't really go out that much. We don't really celebrate many things or... Um, it's very rare. The, those are the few occasions. Birthday and Birthday. Year. New Year, maybe Valentine's, mm. um, but more often than not, we have Valentine's at home and do like Marks and Spencer's meal or something that then involves Abby. Yeah. Um. So it's not. It's actually not that often that we do that. You know, once or twice a year. But I could count some things. So I knew the cupcakes were like thirteen and a half cents each. Mm. And then I knew the miso soup in Yo Sushi was three cents a bowl. It was unlimited miso. So I had three of them. Mm. I really like miso soup. Mm. Don't know where the sins are in it, but they're there on the. No, app. because it is very much. There's not an awful lot to it. No. It's a bit of flavouring. Yeah. Some seaweed, some tofu, mm. and that's about it. So mm. they're there straight away. I'm over, yeah. way over. Yeah. Um, and then I couldn't count the rest because I couldn't find it on the app, but it would have had sins. Yeah. Um. So that was a that was a flexi day, I suppose, or yeah. off plan day it was Cat's birthday. But I don't mm. think we went wild. I don't think it was too bad, to be honest with you. Didn't even have a bottle of wine. No. <laughs> no, we didn't. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, when I should have weighed last week, I actually put on three pounds. Um, I think this, and this is probably why I seem to think that, that we'd missed two weeks, because I weighed again halfway through the next week, which would have been my birthday week mm. after my birthday I think and I'd gained again I'd gained again and I can't quite remember how much it was but it was it was over a pound so it might have been a pound and a half something like that so yeah I'd gained at least four and a half pounds over the last two weeks so bearing that bearing all that in mind um, when I weighed myself this morning I've only gained, since the last time we did a weigh-in video, I've only actually gained a pound and a half. So you've lost some so of it. So I'd them. actually yeah. lost. you done done I'd, some of it. Yeah, I'd lost some of what I'd gained over that yeah. uh, two-week period. Yeah. So I'm actually really happy with that. So um, there's my board. Two, it took me, it's taken me ages to get two stone, two pounds. Um, I'm not that anymore. I need to take these off. Just let it in. It's all come off. You know, this is story of my life. Um, one, two. Turn that round to represent a half pound. So yeah, this is, I'm back here again. Which is not great. <laughs> you know where I'm at. Okay. okay, you see it. So, um, it's not great, but, um, yeah, the last couple of weeks haven't been good for me. Um, Having said that, though, I have felt a change over the last few days with you. 
right, because okay. you're doing perhaps Cap when she's like struggling doesn't tend to do much in the way of cooking from scratch whereas in the last couple of days you have you've done a stir fry you put mm. loads of extra speed in it I did actually didn't you yeah what did that's we have true last night? Um, Oh, well, we had, we had, um, so I did like a prawn stir fry with right. um, courgettes and all the rest of it. Mm. Um, what was the sauce? Do you remember? So, uh, hoisin and hoisin sauce, sauce and yeah. mixture and everything. It was very, very nice. Sinned, but full of speed. And then we, I had some prawns left over and obviously I wanted to use them up and I thought, what can I do? What can I do with prawns? Um, so I did a very quick and easy pasta dish. Again, you added extra speed in by adding because in because we still had courgettes that I've ribboned. Yeah. So I put that in, put some parsley in, lemon, mm-hmm. very simple, loads of garlic, yeah. and did that. I feel a shift. Yeah, I think. I think as well. I mean, you know, I'm saying, I, ha- I haven't driven for, I haven't driven since I started with the pain. So it's been about two weeks since I've driven. Um. But the pain is starting to ease off. I'm I'm very tired mm. still. Um, but the shoulder pain particularly is starting to ease off. Mm. I don't I mean I felt quite tired after massive tightening. Mm. But I actually although So did I though. <laughs> although it do, in in one way the metal tightening does me in, it also does me some good, I think. Yeah. Because you're out in the fresh air, um it kind of it's really therapeutic as well. It really calms me down and cut all my stress levels, and that. So um, I wouldn't stop doing that. I yeah. thought regardless of um, of how the fibros, the fibro is because it. I think it does me more good than harm, really. Um, but I am starting to feel better actually. I'm starting to feel better, so hopefully now I'm on I'm on the up again. Sorry for so long winded, I know, but um, I'm definitely on the up. So this is why we didn't film the roulade as well, because we had to take into account that we had um, Halloween, yeah, bonfire night, Cat's birthday, and we thought we just let that lot get by first, and then. In a week where there's no celebration. Yeah, I probably, I probably didn't uh, plan that very well. No, I don't think you did. No, We didn't think about that. But that's okay. But that means that, you know, this week there's no celebrations. There's no, nothing that we're, like, planning. Yeah, so, can so it can go into this viewer's week. Viewer's choice roulade for yeah. this week. Because we haven't done it yet. And that's right. the reason why we didn't do it. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm really spurred on by the fact that I've had a really bad couple of weeks... But I've managed to um, damage limitation, you know, one half pounds. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. That encourages me to go to get more positive with it again, and um, hopefully I can get past this two pounds, uh, two stone two pounds, and get a bit further and start looking towards two and a half pa- uh, stone mark. Hopefully. Yeah. Um. Sorry, it's really long winded. So, I've had a more focused couple of weeks than Catherine. Um, Like I said, I didn't have any sweets on Halloween. I tried to keep it mindful on Cat's birthday, because it would have been very easy not to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I didn't go to group last week because I overslept. It's an early group and I just did not get up in time. And I know I could have gone to any other group in the week, but I like the Saturday mornings. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll I'll go next Saturday, which is what I did. I went today. Mm. I um, think didn't she mark you down as holiday? She marked me down as because holiday because you actually haven't had any time off, have you? I haven't had any all year, so she oh. marked me down as holiday, which was nice of her. Also, her card reader was broken. Oh wow! So we had to pay cash. Mm. I only had so much on me. So um, yeah, because my countdowns ran out. Didn't okay. get another countdown. Mm. But uh, yeah, I've been pretty mindful. There was chocolate in the staff room yesterday. Was there? Yeah. Oh, you told me about that. Yeah, it was opened, but kind of, you couldn't see what it was. It was opened upside down on the seam. It was clearly Cadbury's, mm. and it was broken into bits with a sign saying, help yourself, so I did. And um, I only had a square. I thought, I don't, no, well, no, let's just stick it under my mask, and I can, like, you know, have that bit of chocolate. Didn't realise it had popping candy in it, and the amount of people walking around the corridors trying to be subtle 
about the fact that they've had the chocolate, but they're actually all fizzing and popping. Mm. It was quite amusing. Um, so I did have that, but I think my sins were low enough within the week to account for that anyway. Uh, that said, I went to weigh in today, and this was my the last time we did a video. This is how it looked. So it's two and a half stone bang on. Mm. It took me a very long time to get to two and a half stone. I'm going to have to work a little bit harder because I also gained a pound and a half. And I do put it down to Kath's birthday, the chocolate, and the fact that Star Week is literally maybe hours away. So... Right. Because we needed to know that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so, am I disappointed? I actually thought it would be more because it feels, mm. you know when you know you've put on weight, you know it's going to be a gain. Mm. It feels like it should have been a three to four pound gain, which would have been unjustified. Um, but because it felt like that mm. and then it wasn't, I was like, oh, yay. Mm. It's just a strange Perfect. reaction to have on a pound and a half gain. <laughs> <laughs> yay, it was a pound and a half. Yeah. It's okay. No, I will sort all that out. I think with, I think you're, with you being more focused as well, that's helpful. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I think the thing is as well, it's a bit like you put your head in the sand a little bit. I put my head in the sand a little bit. I hope that things will go away. <laughs> I'm afraid I am. Um, and the fact that I've confronted it now and said, no, okay. Um, and I filmed as well. I, well, this, this, is, this yeah. is what I'm saying, that, you know, I'm, I'm filming and I'm confronting um you know the results and everything it gives me like a, a a clear slate almost it makes me feel okay this okay i can put it behind me now and stop brushing it under the carpet and um just get on with it yeah so i'm i'm sure that there will be more times like this this is not you know uh this is not something that's never going to happen again um, because like I say, it's daily battle really for me. So, but you know, you just got to hope that you have better days and better weeks. And, um, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Of course we will. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it really. Right. I think we'll have to go because we need to hide some Christmas presents. Mm. So, yeah. Andy's already had one of her Christmas presents. I know. Yeah, we're going to have to hide the others. Yeah. Because Christmas is coming. Perfect time to do the roulade. It is, really. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I hope whatever kind of a week you're having, you're having a good week on plan. Don't worry. If you're like me, um, you can get back on it. For sure. You can. It's never too late. Um thank you for watching as ever and we'll see you on the video see you on the next one take care bye Cheerio.